you want any more kids or are you done? Oh yeah, I want more kids. Like how many? Like like one. I think. So like the person you're dating, know. you you see like a future with them? I think the question you were asking me is if I wanted more kids and I feel like I want more kids and yeah. I feel like at this point in my life, right? Yeah. The relationship is is amazing to have, right? But that's not what I'm basing having a kid on because right. I'm very non-traditional. Yeah. I feel like you can co-parent without being in a relationship. Maybe just two people say, "Hey, you want a kid? I want a kid. Let's just have a kid and like let's just really? see." Really? So you would you yeah, would I'm do very that? like free spirit. I'm very open and just yeah. Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, imagine having a stepdad like this. My father tried his best to give me advice. The problem was, he was only a couple of years older than me. You gonna have some chores. Chores? That's right, chores. Nigga, this ain't gonna be no free ride. Uh, you gonna have to keep track of my matchbox cars. You got to organize that damn Sega Genesis cartridges. I want you to do my homework since you want to be such a smart ass. So Drea Michelle, who is 39, is pregnant with a baby girl by NBA player Jalen Green, who is 22. And Drea has a son who is 21. Now, we all know athletes get plenty of play on and off the courts, if you know what I mean. Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, come on! Do I have a problem with the age gap? No. Is it creepy that her son is the same age as her baby daddy? Yes. Because you know that while they was getting it in, she was probably thinking, this is what it feels like when my son is banging a chick. Nasty bitch. Dre and Michelle ain't shit. Is she predatory? Yes, she is. Now I know society has an issue with age gap relationships and being predatory, but they're not the same thing. You can have an age gap relationship and not be predatory. The argument that people have against age gap relationships aren't intellectually consistent. That means that their argument doesn't remain relevant when used in a similar but alternate scenario. The definition of a predator is someone who ruthlessly exploits others, usually for personal gain and at the detriment of their victim. So knowing that, if I had an 18 year old son that works at Walmart and he ran into billionaire Rihanna while she was shopping, let's say they hit it off, started dating and eventually had a baby. Now keep in mind that Rihanna is 36, 18 years older than my hypothetical son. Would that make her a predator? The answer is no. My son wouldn't be considered a victim by no sane human being. In fact, he'd be considered the luckiest man on the planet. It'd be the same way that Brooklyn Nicole, who's 21, stands to benefit from Drake, who's 37. In order for the definition of predator to apply, Brooklyn, or my hypothetical son, would need to lose something tangible in that relationship. You gotta make it make sense. It's like being called a bank robber after you just deposited some money into the bank. The next argument that people have against age gap relationships is the lack of having things in common. They would say something like, what could a 40 year old possibly talk about with a 20 year old? Why that's intellectually inconsistent is because the same logic could apply to an American dating someone in a foreign country. What could I possibly talk about with a woman my age who spent her whole life in Belize? I run across women my age all the time that couldn't tell me what a Davenport is and ain't never seen an episode of Vicky the Robot, Punky Brewster, or Pippi Longstocking. But what makes people think that couples gotta have something in common anyway? As long as my girl likes sucking tip, following my program, and not entertaining other dudes, I can give a damn what we have in common. But that's not my issue with Dre and Michelle. Drea Michelle knew full well what the hell she was doing, sucking shoestrings out of Jalen's NBA rich mushroom tip. She probably hit him with that grip, the double hand tornado twist, and had him going like this, like the kid in this clip. <laughs> Drea Michelle is a level 99 seductress. The economy is bad and everybody out here running game. Even Stray Dogs is trying to commit insurance fraud. Yo, yo. What? 
I did not hate you. Yo, y'all some scammers, bro. I got the whole shit on camera. Move. Dre has got history with all kinds of high value celebrity men, which means she's probably developed some snap and kill. Fellas, you have to protect your hedonic treadmill and avoid chicks with snap and kill. It's the real reason why men like Drake won't settle for just one chick. It's the real reason why Myron from Fresh and Fit and other high value men in the manosphere will never get married. It's because they habitually bang 304s and they didn't ran across some snap and kill. See, snap and kill, it won't give you PTSD. Nah, it's gonna give you what I like to call penis TSD. See, when you got penis TSD and you don't know it, you gonna end up like Kanye trying to turn a 304 into a housewife. You'll never be able to settle with a wholesome girl because a wholesome girl cannot compete sexually with these 304s that got snap and kill. Now, Jalen Green's only 22 years old. He's an athlete that we all know are stereotypically stupid. Andrea need to change her name to Adeline because her ass is Adeline for taking advantage of the mentally challenged. What you gonna do? Ooh, what you gonna do? You gonna do that for your honey, son? Ass, yeah. yeah. Big pussy. Ooh, big pussy? What the fuck? Ooh, what else, son? Huh? Ass. Ooh, what else? Titty. Ooh, what else? Eat it. Ooh, what you gonna do? <laughs> There's no man alive that would disagree with what I'm about to say. You want a strong seven. Let me tell you why. Ten, fine as all body, looking fine, everything like that, got it going on. Too much maintenance. A nine, that's a problem too. Because you got enough people telling her she's a ten, so half of them acting that way. And by the way, the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. You got to be up on your game. That's problematic. Eight, that's ideal. Cause that's really, really good looking. She got it going on. But at the same time, there's a level of independence, which is never a bad thing until she's so independent that she's making you feel like you need to be more dependent on her. There's too much time that's wasting away where you're not feeling like that dude. You're feeling like a dude, not that dude. Here's where the strong seven comes in. She can compete with an eight, but her mentality is not that of an eight. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. Therefore, she treats you like she wants you. As a result, y'all have more of a good time together. Meanwhile. God, hey. God, hey. God, hey. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if Drea should change her name to Adeline. All jokes aside, let's get behind the mindset of women like Drea Michelle. I don't think I'm considered a hoe no more. I don't really got no nobody in the last like two or three years. She yeah. said no more. Don't say no. <laughs> no, your whole your wholeness can get deleted. Like. I after a no. certain amount of time. Don't, just don't she, claim it. She's like, she said, I wanna, she said, I'm owning it. You got saved a long time ago. So you're in a drought right now. <laughs> I am in a total drought. You know Drea, AKA Adeline, has a type A personality and is completely indifferent to average men. The reason you see women like Drea, Larza, and Brittany Renner going after rich, younger men is because they understand that older men has built up tolerance and immunity to all of their games and that snap and kill they got between their legs. Earlier in the video, I mentioned men protecting their hedonic treadmill, AKA the amount of hedonistic pleasure you allow yourself to become imprinted by. This is what makes those inappropriate relationships with those teachers, with those younger male students, so damaging and why men Men should not applaud that. See, a young man does not have full knowledge of extreme sexual pleasure. The young women his age, on average, lack the ability to imprint extreme sexual pleasures. So if you're imprinted, you may become unresponsive to weaker stimulus. Or in this context, you may find it harder to gain proper arousal from a more wholesome female. 
this has a high chance of causing sexual incompatibility with more wholesome girls and may cause you to seek out 304s and try to tame them for stable relationships. So when someone as experienced as Drea gets with guys like Jalen, there's a huge chance that she's gonna imprint him. What makes that imprint dangerous is because it can influence him to make poor decisions while engaging with her that could lead her to end up getting pregnant to her benefit. Now that she is pregnant, she's all but guaranteed somewhere north of $20 million over the course of the next 18 years. What makes this worse is nowhere on Drea's social media is she acknowledging a relationship with Jalen. So that just means that she was probably in it just for the kid. Fellas, listen to me here. Do not downplay how powerful your digging sticks desires are. You run into the female with that guac guac 3000, you run into a female with that snap and kill, and then that'll be the reason why you end up cheating on a good traditional woman with a 304. Your brain and your heart will always love the good girl, but your pogo stick only loves who makes him feel the best. Basic intercourse allows dopamine rushes similar to an introductory drug like pot. Snap and kill is like being strung out on that other stuff. You're gonna give yourself penis TSD. But there are so many men that it's hard headed, but y'all gonna learn trying to tame that masculine wild cat. This is Pinky, pet of the week, Placer County Animal Shelter. He's a very loving cat. A few moments later. Pinky. Pinky. Pinky, whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> well, we got a wild cat on our hands. <laughs> yeah, Dis disconnected from the day. Ah! <sighs> you got to in the back? But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click her to see how women can stab their boyfriends 108 times and it not be a crime in America. If you missing my shorts, be sure to hit me up on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you want to do some business with me, be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.